would you just take a look at this scenery today? Hey, the first snowfall right here in Ontario. We're on the Bruce Trail. We're in the Beaver Valley section and we're hiking the Laurie Forest. Absolutely beautiful today. Wow. Hey, Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Welcome to my channel. Man, uh, lots and lots of snow came down last night, as you can see. This is the first snow of the season. We've still got some beautiful kind of golden brown colors there with some snow on them. I am sure that today we are going to be able to pick up one or two really nice winter scenes. And I am ecstatic. Now, I must say, I'm not particularly a winter person. I much more prefer the warm weather of the summer. Wearing shorts, no t-shirt, feeling the sunshine on my skin, I love it. But I cannot dismiss the absolute stunning beauty of fresh snowfall in the winter time. Well, it's still just fall, but fresh snow, snow fall at any time. Beautiful. Let's make our way down this trail. Let's see what we can find to photograph today. So right now, along this hike this morning of the Bruce Trail, we've come up to an observation kind of area. We're looking at an amazing expanse today. Look at the backdrop. Beautiful grey, different shades of grey. Lighter, darker, the fresh snow that's fallen upon the trees in the distance and yet still a hint of the fall colours. Absolutely amazing. By the way, I didn't mention this, but today we are joined by a great photographer. Say hi, Stephen. Hello, folks. <laughs> ah, this is Stephen from Wasaga Beach, a very accomplished photographer. He's joined me today on this hike. He's setting up his, uh, his tripod. What camera do you use, Steve? This is a uh, crop sensor Canon uh, ADD. I'm familiar with that. Nice camera. No, it is a nice camera. It's a Sigma. Wow. 24 to uh, 105 lens, which I really love. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, today I'm going to be shooting with my Canon 50D, which is also a crop sensor. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go with my lens of choice, which is my 24 to 70 mil F4 uh, lens. So, hey, let's get it set up on the tripod and let us see what we can make out of this scene today because it is absolutely stunning. The temperature is somewhere around maybe around freezing minus one minus two. The sun pops out a little bit behind us but then it quickly gets covered again obscured by the gray cloud. The gray cloud is very dominant today there's a lot of snow in the sky today but hey it's a beautiful morning to be out. Let's get set up let's see what we can do with this. So, um, as you can see, the snow came down heavy, totally socked in, no view whatsoever. I did manage, just before uh, the snow started pouring down or coming down hard, I did manage to grab one bracketed shot. So you know what, I am going to pop that shot up for you right now for you to take a look at. There. it is. So what did you think of that? Hey, best we could do today, all of a sudden any light we had, any signs of light just simply disappeared. So we're going to pack up from here, we're going to keep going down the trail, we're going to see what else we can find. Let's go. Now right ahead of me, what attracted me to this particular scene was the golden dark brown leaves, dry, remnants of uh, the early fall if you will, uh, kind of embedded and surrounded by the white of the snow and the grey backdrop. I just kind of like that, it just kind of caught my eye. We are getting a little bit of light poking through all the grey snow. So, with that said, we're on the tripod. I'm using my uh, Canon 50D, my 24 to 70 mil length. I have an ISO of 100. I have a focal length of 24 mil on this lens. Keep in mind, crop sensor camera, so it's about a 38 mil uh, focal length, real life. ISO of 100, uh, hey, F11, two second timer, and if I could find the shutter release button, my hands are frozen, but there's my image. You know what? I think that's going to be amazing. Now, 
just stand by while I set this camera up to bracket this shot and we're going to go with what my camera tells me is correctly exposed one stop under and one stop over for you know what a possible HDR image stand by let's see okay so <laughs> I've now set up for a bracketed shot so it's going to give me uh, three images again one one image that my camera says is correctly exposed one sh one stop under one stop over two second timer fingers are freezing don't know if I'm pressing the shutter release because my hands are so cold there we go we got three shots hey possible HDR sure you know what we're going to continue on we're going to see if there's anything else we can find uh, but right now the snow seems to have backed off and uh, the sun seems to be poking out from behind us which is really 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 kind of nice let's just take a little look around because it's such a beautiful beautiful location this morning but man it is cold on the fingers uh, my fingers are just numb like little blocks of wood but anyhow what a beautiful beautiful location though there's the trail behind us and right there if you can see that is Stephen's best buddy that is Lucy <laughs> and she's doing great she's awesome okay what a beautiful location as I keep saying I love this first snow a nice little bit of color embedded in there okay you know what let's get packed up off the tripod let's continue with this trail and let's see what else we can find this morning nice. what a beautiful section of trail I just took a moment and grabbed a couple of handheld shots what an interesting looking tree the way the snow seems to be drooping down from it absolutely beautiful the snow continues to fall quite heavily uh, I'm gonna say we must be approaching 10 to 12 inches of fresh snow falling up here uh, in the hills absolutely beautiful again it's only November the 7th so we've got a long snow season ahead of us and there's Lily breaking the trail uh, leading the way and she's doing a fine job it's almost as though she can see the blaze markers on the trees and she's just leading the way for us makes my job a lot easier but what an absolutely beautiful location just take a look at all this snow my goodness it's beautiful I am so blessed to live in a part of the world where we do have four very distinct seasons. I've mentioned this before, in the summertime we have tropical Caribbean temperatures and in the wintertime we have polar Arctic temperatures. It's amazing. Now just moments ago, the little kind of valley area if you will ahead of us with the trees in the background, the snow on the trees. It was illuminated with absolutely beautiful sunshine and then all of a sudden as, as I took my pack off my back and grabbed my tripod to set it up the snow just returned as quick as it had disappeared and um, there's just no light unfortunate because it was a very very pretty image also on the opposite side of the trail here there's part of a farmhouse peeking out with a row of tall tall trees uh, it looked absolutely beautiful just a few minutes ago and again the snow came there's nothing there to see so you know what we're going to carry on down this trail we're going to see if we do get some light and see if we can find anything else to photograph today because the conditions are changing moment by moment by moment one minute there's light and then for the next hour it's just deep snowfall and right now it's just getting worse and worse and worse so hey we'll carry on down the trail see if there's anything else we can find and see if we do get some light so okay we have made it back to uh, where I parked my car this morning uh, you know what the light just didn't cooperate the uh, the snow just kept coming down more and more and more and more but I did have a blast I enjoyed the hike we have a couple of images we're going to look at those images in a moment but you know what 
uh, you're getting snow all over your lens. I apologize. Let's kick back. Let's look at those images. And hey, 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 remember, if you like what we're doing, give me a like, give me a share, leave a comment, do subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>